Good evening. Welcome to the National News Broadcast. I'm Kasani Balachandra. Good evening. I'm Clifford Richards. First of all, we'll take a look at the headlines. The Venerable Valamiti Ave Kusaladham Mathera bids adieu to the nation. Booster jabs will be given from tomorrow. A new set of health guidelines issued. Floods occur in many areas due to inclement weather. Beijing faces a corona outbreak risk again. Protesters against Sudan administration have been shot. Five new Sri Lanka records established at the National Athletics Championship. Moving on to the stories in detail. The funeral of the Chancellor of the Kalania University, Chief Judicial Prelate of Colombo and Chilau, Chief Monk of Palyagoda Vidyalankara Pirivana, Agga Mahapandit, the Venerable Dr. Valamitiyave Kusaladhamma Thera, took place today at Independence Square in Colombo with full state honours. The government declared a day of national mourning today in connection with the demise of the late Thera. The Venerable Dr. Valamitiyave Kusaladhamma Thera was 85 years of age at the time of his demise. The remains were kept at the Paliwood of Dialankar Pirivana for the public to pay their last respects. The body was taken in a motorcade to the Independent Square in Colombo where the funeral rites were held. The funeral ceremony was held under the patronage of the Mahanayaka of the Sri Lanka Ramanya Mahanikaya, the most venerable Makulayave Vimalathera. Chairman of the Amarpura Sangha Sabha, the most venerable Gantune Asalji Thera and Anunayakas of Asgiri and Malwatu chapters. A large number of parliamentarians, including Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha, attended the funeral ceremony. Anunayaka of the Malwatu chapter, the venerable Dr. Nyangwada Vijita Siri Thera, conducted religious practices for the layman. The chief prelate of the Maligakanda Vidyodhya Pirivena, the Venerable Dr. Balangwada Sobhita delivered an anusasana on behalf of all Buddhist monks. Minister Dinesh Gunawardhana read out the condolence message of President Gotabe Rajapaksha. The minister reading out the president's condolence message said that the demise of the late Thero who protected traditions of the Buddha Sasana and led an exemplary life for the well-being of thousands of university students while preparing the necessary background for Buddhist monks is a great void. The late Venerable Valamityave Kusaladham Mathera led the silent great leadership on behalf of the national movement for Sri Lanka's independence and when the internal political establishments were unstable. The minister said that he was personally aware the late Thera's advice that contributed to create progressive administrations beneficial to the country and the people. <laughs> Adra Mahathir Mahindra Rajapaksha. 
The Prime Minister Mahind Rajpaksha also expressed his condolences. The Premier said that Vidya Lankar Pirvena is a main religious and education institute which contributed Buddhist monks loyal to the country from the past. The late Nayakathera was able to take the Vidya Lankara name to the world by protecting the dignity of the institution. There are lots of examples of him that can be followed. The Prime Minister said that he met the late Nayakathera when he was in the opposition as a minister and as the president. The Prime Minister said he went to the Vidya Lankar Pirvena with his father. The Prime Minister said he met the late Thera often during his political life. He said that the late Thera discussed about the measures that are beneficial to the country and to the society. The Premier disclosed that the late Thera was with him in state administration. The Premier said that he was prepared to return to Madhamulana in 2015 and the late Nayaka Thera came, chanted Seth Pirith, invoked blessings and encouraged him, which he could not forget. The Prime Minister said that the late Nayaka Thera was always there, irrespective of whether he had power or not. The Premier said that the void created by the passing away of the late Thera cannot be filled. The Premier further said that he sees the late Thera as an era of the country. प्रकाश कर उन्नवांसे अपवाद नहीं में है तो इस तरह पीड़िमसी नहीं है कि ये मां विश्वास करना वैली बितिया भी कुछ लोग दम्बनाए कहाँ हम दुरुक यानि अपेराते युग्या लिसाई मां दक्षिण विपक्ष नायक सजी ओपोजिशन लीडर साजिद प्रेमदास आल्सो एक्सप्रेस हिस कंडोलेंसेस the opposition leader says that the services rendered by the late Venerable Dr. Velamitiyave Kusaradhamathera are immortal. The opposition leader said that the late Thera advised the administrators of the country about the country's unitary nature, territorial integrity, sovereignty and the political freedom. He further said that the late Nayaka Thera always worked for the continuation of the Buddha Sahasana. <laughs> Vice Chancellor Professor Nilanthi De Silva presented the condolence message of the Karenia University. Lecturer of Vidya Lankar Peruvena and Deputy Principal of the Gurukula Vidyali, the Venerable Napagoda Sumanathir Satera invoked blessings. Thereafter, the funeral pyre was lit. And in more news, Director General of Health Services Dr. Asela Gunavardhana says that a booster job for persons who have received both the vaccine doses will be given from tomorrow. The third dose is given for the persons who have completed six months of full vaccination. Director General of Health Services Dr. Asit Gunwardhana said that a boost dose will be given to frontline workers for persons more than 60 years, persons in the age category between 30 and 60 years with various illnesses and after that to others. It is given for those who have completed six months after taking the second dose. Pfizer vaccine will be used as the boost jab. Dr. 
29,080,926 vaccine doses have been given to the people under the COVID vaccination program. The first dose has been given to 15,548,834. Meanwhile, 30,460,092 have been given both doses of the vaccine. Interprovincial travel restrictions were lifted at 4 a.m. today. Public transport services from various areas in the country to Colombo commence today. It has been decided to commence all bus services and interprovincial train services from tomorrow. A large group of people has arrived near Ambilipitiya Chantrika tank today with the removal of travel restrictions. 388 COVID patients were found from the country today. 14,378 are undergoing further treatment. 317 have recovered from the virus today. 512,798 have recovered so far. The Director General of Health Services confirmed today that 18 COVID-related deaths had occurred yesterday. All of them are 16 years and above. Floods and collapsing of earth mounds have been reported from several areas due to heavy rains. Earth mounds had collapsed on several houses at Badulla, Alla and Demodar area, severely damaged in the houses. Forty families in Alla Divisional Secretariat area have been affected and they have been sent to safe areas. Several low-lying areas in the north-central province have submerged affecting the civilian life. The District Disaster Management Center said seven houses at Ragala Estate have been submerged, displacing 22 persons. They have been temporarily housed at the daycare center building of the estate. Four sluice gates of Dedroe Reservoir were opened three feet each this morning. It releases 8,400 cubic feet of water per second to Dedroe. Eight sluice gates of Rajangani Reservoir were opened this morning. Two sluice gates of Angama Reservoir have been opened by one foot each. The Med Department says that there can be heavy showers tonight. Heavy showers of more than 100 millimeters can occur at some places. Rains or rains accompanied by thunder can occur in sea areas around the island due to low pressure in the situation. Near the island, the sea areas up to Putlam from Mulathiu via Kankasanthure and up to Potuvil from Gaul via Hambantota can become rough. The Med Department said intermittent rains or thunder showers are expected tomorrow in many areas of the country. And in more local stories, applications have been called under ACDC Media Scholarship Program 2021. The Ministry of Mass Media implements the program annually with the aim of improving skills of media personnel in their profession. Journalists who are employed... Journalists who are employed for three years at recognized electronic and print media organizations on full-time or part-time basis can apply for the scholarships. They should be between the ages of 18 and 55 years. Journalists, freelance journalists, provincial correspondents, web journalists and media technical officials who have been issued the media identity card for journalists by the Government Information Department are qualified for the program. The scholarships are offered under non-repayment basis for graduate and postgraduate programs Valuing 200,000 rupees and a maximum of 100,000 rupees for diploma and higher diploma programs. Courses related to media field conducted by recognized universities and higher educational institutions can be followed using the scholarships. Applications should be sent before the 30th of November to Director Media, Mass Media Ministry, number 163, Kutala Panamavata, Pulhin Guda, Colombo 5. The model application paper can be accessed by logging into www.media.gov.lk website of the Ministry of Mass Media. Further information can also be obtained by calling over the telephone numbers 011-251-3645 3459 and 011 251 Minister Chamal Rajapaksha says that protesters demanding chemical fertilizer 
are conducted on the needs of multinational companies. The minister mentioned this while attending a function to launch renovations to the Suryavava Galvava tank yesterday. Minister Chamal Rajapaksha said that they were asked to give fertilizer without toxins during that time. Fertilizer need is a problem for everyone. However, protests demanding chemical fertilizer cannot be justified. Chemical fertilizer is produced in foreign countries. There is a possibility to produce fertilizer in the country. Chemical fertilizer is demanded due to the influence of national and multinational companies. Three million rupees will be spent on this project. The project, which is implemented under the Lanka. Mahavali Authority is scheduled to be completed in four months. A group of people, including MP Ajit Rajapaksha, were present on this occasion. We now bring you several more local news reports in brief. The final competition of the National Challenge 2021 to cook food with more taste and less salt organized by Sri Lanka Nutrition Medical Association took place yesterday under the patronage of Mrs. Shiranti Vikramasinghe Rajapaksa at Golf Face. 40 teams competed in the first round, 26 teams in the second round and 5 teams in the final round. The competition has been organized to educate the public as well as those who are in cookery field on the importance of a meal with less salt. Secretary to the Ministry of Backward Rural Areas Development Dr. Amal Harsha De Silva and Chairperson of Sri Lanka Nutrition Medical Association consultant Dr. Renuka Jayatissa were present on this occasion. The new building constructed at Surapura Vatavana Junior School under Mahiangani Divisional Secretariat area of the Badula district was vested with the students yesterday under the patronage of State Minister Pial Nishanta. A group of people including State Minister Tenuka Vidanagamage were present on this occasion. Galanigama traffic police say that five persons were admitted to hospitals following a collision of five vehicles at Galanigama Bathegama area on the Southern Expressway. An ambulance of police special task force, a cab, two motor cars and a lorry had collided. A government-registered doctor who was selling a medicine given to mental patients for other persons at his private medical center in Panadura town was arrested yesterday. Fifteen youth who were at the place were also arrested. Police have taken into custody 20,000 medicinal tablets from the medical center and the value of them has been estimated to be about 3 million rupees. Well, that's it on the news. Do enjoy the rest of the programs. Take care. And good night. Stay safe. Good night.